Hi Cubbies, it's time for bear hug number 13 from your Appleseed book. Are you ready? We have been learning about how God keeps his promises, right? And do you remember what God promised Noah? God promised Noah that he would keep Noah and his family and the animals on the ark safe through the entire flood. He would take care of them and keep them safe. And did God keep that promise? Yes, he did. The big, strong ark kept the raindrops out. Outside, the waves were crashing and the, the storm was thundering. Boom, boom, boom. Rain, rain, waves, waves. Boom, boom, boom. Rain, 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 rain for 40 days and 40 nights. But cubbies, Noah and his family and the animals were safe inside the ark, all cozy and dry. Hmm, would you have liked to have been on the ark? What do you think you would have heard on the ark? Would you have heard a lion snoring? I wonder what it sounds like. <laughs> what do you think you would hear? I don't know. You'd probably hear a lot of animals making some sounds. And sometimes maybe they would get noisy. Sometimes maybe they'd be quiet. But you could hear them just making their little snores. I don't know. I, what do you think it would have smelled like? Maybe not so good. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> do you think it would be crowded? It was very, very, very big, but there were many, many, many animals on it, so probably a little crowded. Do you think that you would rather be in that ark running around for 40 days or out playing in the sunshine? Probably out playing in the sunshine, but if it's a choice between this big, big flood that destroyed the earth and that ark, I'd be very thankful for that ark and very, very thankful that God promised to keep me safe. Well, finally, after 40 long days, the rain stopped. So do you think they could get out? No, they couldn't get out. The whole earth was covered in water. So God sent a strong wind to dry up the water. Can you blow like the wind? <sighs> So there came the wind to dry up the water. Noah and his family waited. And each day the water came down, 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 down. And one day the ark floated to a stop. Oh, it rested right on top of the mountains of Ararat. Can you say that? Ararat. <clears throat> yes. Cubbies, do you see any water left? Yes, there was still a lot of water. And Noah's in that ark. He can't see necessarily everywhere he is, but there's a lot of water. I don't think that little hill is quite big enough to let everybody out yet. It wasn't time to come out. But they rested on Mount the mountains of Ararat. Well, Noah couldn't tell how dry the land was, so he opened the window and he sent a raven out to look for dry land. See, here's the raven. The raven flew here and there and all around and it didn't find a place. <laughs> Then Noah sent out a dove and she flew, flew here and there and all around and then she came back <laughs> because there wasn't anywhere to live. Oh, not yet. It wasn't quite time. So Noah waited 
and seven days later, let's count to seven. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven days later, Noah sent out the dove again. She flew here and there and all around. And guess what, cubbies? This time, the dove came back with something. She came back with an olive leaf. Oh, that's so exciting because leaves grow on trees and trees grow on land. The land was getting drier. Noah waited again, seven days. Let's count to seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then he sent the dove out again. She flew here and there and here and there and here. And guess what? Cubbies, this time the dove did not come back. <laughs> she had found a dry spot to build her nest. When the land was all dry and not any flooding was left, God said, come out. Yay! Do you think they were happy to come out of that ark? I think they probably were. <laughs> out came Noah. Out came Noah's wife. Out came Noah's sons and their wives. Then out came all the animals, hopping and trotting and waddling and crawling and skipping and galloping with glee. Noah built a special place to worship the Lord. It's called an altar. And Noah thanked God for keeping his family safe from the flood, just as God had promised. God was very happy with Noah's worship at the altar. And what do you think God did next? God made a new promise. But this promise was not just for Noah. It, it's for all the people and animals that live after him, including you and me. Cubbies, God promised he would never again send a flood to destroy the whole earth and all the living things on it. He set a beautiful rainbow in the clouds as a reminder of that promise. Let's see. So let's look at our beautiful rainbow. <gasps> see that? That's our reminder. It's so beautiful. So whenever we see a rainbow in the sky, we can remember that God always keeps his promises, right? And this is a sign of the covenant or the promise that God made. Okay? Now, let's go over our memory verse. Our Bible lesson came from Genesis chapter 8, and our, our memory verse comes from Genesis chapter 9. So let's see, chapter 9, verse 13. Oh, are you ready to say it with me? I, God, have set my bow in the cloud. Can we say that together again? I, God, have set my bow in the cloud. Genesis 9, 13. Now, I will say the second part. Here, it's in our apple seed book because we all say the first part. And then some of us say the second part if we were really, 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 really working hard to memorize, okay? I, God, have set my bow in the cloud. And it shall be a sign of the covenant, or promise, between me and the earth. All the earth, all the people, all the animals. Wow, cubbies. God has kept his promise to us. He has not sent another flood to destroy the whole earth. God keeps his promises. God is faithful. Wow. Let's pray and thank God that 
we know that he keeps his promises and that we can trust him. You ready? Clap, 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 hands on your lap. Dear God, thank you so much that you saved Noah's family and the animals from the flood. And thank you that you made a promise to him and to us that you would never again flood the entire earth and wipe out all the people and the animals. And Lord, thank you for other promises you've made, like the best promise of all, that you would send Jesus and that you did. You did that promise, you kept that promise, and that you made us another promise that you will come again. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. I'll see you later. Bye.